Hello, it's creepy middle-aged man here. So today I figured I'd disappoint my family and everybody around me by reading terrible Emma Chamberlain fanfiction. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's terrible, but holy sh**. <laughs> my friends are around me right now. And, um, well, if they want to chime in and they want to say something about this shitty fan fiction, there's always time. Okay, let's begin our journey to disappoint Jesus. Chapter 1. Movie Night. Ethan was home alone and had nothing to do. <laughs> God, you messed me up. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Same. He was extremely bored. Grayson went out somewhere and left Ethan home. Ethan wasn't quite sure what to spend his time on, so he thought it would be the best option was to watch a movie or two. But it would be kind of boring if he just watched them by himself. So he called his friend Emma. Emma came over in about 20 minutes. Ethan heard a knock at the door, and he opened it to see Emma. He smiled and gave her a hug. He gestured Emma in and told her to just sit on the couch. Emma sat down with Ethan following her from behind. <coughs> Where did you go this part? I fucked it up. <laughs> they both sat down and decided to find something to watch. They were thinking it would be funny to watch Fifty Shades of Grey, and so they did. One hour later. It got pretty late and they were only halfway done with the movie. Emma got kind of tired and laid her head on Ethan's shoulder. Ethan was pretty surprised and looked down at her. There's a specific scene on the movie that made Ethan feel a little bit... <laughs> horny! <laughs> it was really good timing when the teacher walked directly by me. Um... Emma had fallen asleep by now, and her hand had rested a little too close to Ethan's pants. <laughs> he could feel her hand resting near his cock. <laughs> Ethan looked down to see if Emma was actually asleep. She was. Ethan lightly picked up her hand and moved it closer to his cock. <laughs> His pants still on. He gently placed it down on it. Emma must have been dreaming about something and moved her hand downward. Now, it was as if she was touching it. Emma woke up at the end of the movie and looked up at Ethan. She then looked at where her hand was. She turned a bright red and Ethan let out a soft laugh. She looked up at Ethan again and she could see lust in his eyes. She didn't remove what, where her hand was, but she started to rub her hand in that area. Ethan bit his lip and let out a low moan. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it's a low moan, alright. Emma then reached her hand up his shirt, feeling his abs. Ethan wanted to do things to Emma. <laughs> And the, and they wanted and he wanted to do them right now. Ethan shoved Emma onto the couch and laid on top of her, kissing her roughly. Emma kissed back. Ethan then moved his hand up her body, pulling one of the sleeves of her shirt down. He stopped kissing her mouth and started to roughly kiss her neck. Ethan Ethan even licked her neck up and down. Emma let on a moan and she grabbed onto his hair. <sighs> This is so f***ing disgusting, and it's worse because this is illegal in California, I do believe. Okay. Okay. He tugged at the bottom of her shirt, asking to take it off. Emma let him. Ethan pulled Emma's shirt off and started to kiss her body. Emma tugged at Ethan's hair, motivating him to go faster and harder. He did just that. He sat up and pulled it off his shirt. Emma drooled at the sight of shirtless Ethan. He then swooped her up and held on to her and carried her up to his room. He sat Emma down on his bed, and he didn't hesitate to get on top of her. He ran his hands all the way down her body. Without knowing, Ethan pulled down Emma's pants, leaving her in bra and underwear. Emma got up and pulled Ethan's shorts down. Now he was only in his boxers. Ethan started to harshly, okay, lick Emma's stomach. 
She let out a moan, and he silenced her by pressing his hands over his ma- over her mouth. Pressing his hand over her mouth. He whispered in Emma's ears, Are you ready for daddy? Emma got shivers down her spine. Ethan quickly pulled his boxers and Emma's underwear off. Ethan also got her bra. Nice. Ethan put it inside of her, thrusting in and out of her. Emma dug her nails into Ethan's back, leaving a trail of marks. How the hell does that work? I thought that they were... Is this doggy style or is it missionary? Because it it sounds... I don't know. I don't know. The way that they were making it sound, it was... I can relate hardcore, but this is really messed up. And I'm sorry that I have to I have to subject you to this, but people are wanting this on my YouTube channel and I have to give it to them. So I'm going to have to make a really terrible edit for this too, you know. Help. All right. He arched his back. Ethan hit Emma's G spot. Emma moaned louder than ever. Ethan pressed his face into Emma's collarbone, moaning her name. Ethan's voice echoed through Emma's body, making her shake in pleasure. Ethan leaned into her ear and said, Daddy's gonna <laughs> you. Be ready. <laughs> he bit onto her neck, leaving a mark. Ethan hit Emma's G spot once more. Emma held back her <laughs> The face that my friend is giving me is priceless right now, and I want to continue just to make her feel even more uncomfortable that she decided to sit by me. <laughs> You decided to sit by me. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. That's how I remember it. Fine. Ethan thrust in once more into Emma, and he <gasps> inside of her. Ethan removed his... Is that correct grammar? <gasps> no, it's not. Like, this isn't... It's Emma Chamberlain fanfiction written by a ten-year-old Stan. You really think that it's going to be, like, <gasps> Shakespeare? Maybe you should just, like, edit it. I probably will. New edited version. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to disappoint Jesus by doing that, though. Ethan removed his cock, then placed three fingers inside of Emma. She moaned and moaned all over Ethan's fingers. Ethan licked his fingers. <clears throat> you taste so good, baby. Ethan thought that they would be done after that. Turns out, she had other plans. <clears throat> She got on top of Ethan and started to rub up and down against Ethan's huge bugle. Ethan muttered profanities under his breath. Ethan slithered his hand around her back and pulled her towards him. So you think you're in control now? You're wrong about that. Ethan picked Emma up and pressed her against a wall, roughly and harshly kissing her neck. He raised her up a little higher so he could go lower on her body. He moved his hand up her thigh, clenching it. Ethan then thrusted into Emma, hitting her G-spot instantly. Emma moaned so loud that Ethan had to quiet her by pressing his lips against hers. He put his tongue in her mouth. After a while of thrusting and moaning, Ethan <gasps> again in Emma. They laid down on Ethan's bed and cuddled next to each other. And hearing the garage door shut, <gasps> Ethan muttered. I have a bad case of diarrhea. 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 I have a bad case of diar